Morning guys, today is all about studying for my health and life insurance license. Right now I am at 19% and we're gonna try to get to 50%. That's the goal today, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start studying. Minor problem guys. So how I've been going through this program is I will go through the material, skim it, and then go right to the test. You can take the test as many times as you want for each module. There are nine modules and you can, since you can take it as many times as you want, it doesn't matter if you get a zero on the first one or you pass with the 70 or above. So I like to learn more from the tests. I will write down the keyword information, like yeah, just keywords. And then when I need to know more about them, I will go look them up in the, in the readings. And there I have the most important information to them. Like that's why they put those words in there and all that and the definitions and whatever else they have. So I won't have to just go through and read useless things that aren't going to be on the test. Well, for some reason, I went all the way down to the bottom, I guess, just to see progress. And they have a little thing that says you have to st study for 40 hours. So I, I actually have to be on the page and flipping through for 40 hours. So to make it easier, uh, I wrote a little chart down. This is, this is the new plan. Instead of going at my own pace, because I don't, <laughs> I can do this a lot faster than 40 hours. We are going to go like this. Okay. So. This is today, Saturday. We have the the next test is technically on uh, the 9th, which is Monday. I can't get through 40 hours. I My brain wouldn't allow it. <laughs> uh, and then the next test is on the 16th down here. Uh, they also have a net, another test on the next Monday. I think it's just every week. Uh, so we're going to shoot for the 16th. And that means, since there are nine modules... I can do a module a day, as you can see, and get all the way to next Saturday. Now, I've left one day for studying because they have uh, three test exams that I can take, all 150 questions. So I definitely want to take full advantage of those. And then by the 16th, I should be ready to go. I'll have all 40 hours, as you can see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way to 40. I'll have all the hours. I'll, I'll have done all the tests, the practice tests that I can, so I will be fully prepared for the test day. I think that's good. So we're, even though I passed the tests for one, two, three, and four, one was an intro, it was like five questions, uh, on two, three, and four, and I'm assuming on the rest, uh, there are 20 questions. Uh, you have to get a 70 or above to pass. I already mentioned that, but I better reiterate that. Uh, I've already done two, three, and four, but we're going to, we're going to go back and start on two today. And I, I've been getting 70 and 75s. Now that I know I have to do 40 hours, might as well try to get a hundred. So that's the goal. And this is the plan. It's about, it's 615 right now. And I just wanted to give y'all a little preview of what my day has been like in terms of what the wording of all this insurance stuff is, cause it's killing me, man. Uh, here, so just a little excerpt, what I'm taking notes on. So this is peril evidence rule. Peril evidence rule is oral or verbal evidence or that which is given verbally in a court of law. The legal principle of the peril evidence rule limits a contract to its written terms. This rule, therefore, minimizes the use of oral or written documents that are outside the written policy. Oral statements may not generally be used to counteract or nullify insurance contract provisions. In other words, oral statements made before the formation of a contract, if not made part of the written contract, will not be admitted in court in the future if a litigation dispute arises.
Wh what? That's... So, I have to read that like five times over, understand what it means, and then take notes on that in words that I understand, basically. Because not all of it's like this. Most of it's a little easier to understand, but, but there, there is this stuff in there. I mean, that, that's crazy. I feel like I've been taking notes for 10 hours, and it's only been like four. <laughs> wow. So, tomorrow... There, uh, on chapter three, right now I'm on chapter two. There is, the section is 51 pages long. This is 18. I'm on page 10, 10, 10. Did you hear me? 10. And it's been like three hours, four hours, whatever. It's been a long time. So 51 tomorrow, I'm going to have to figure something out. I, I can't write that many notes i mean i already have on this section alone it's five five pages of notes now that may not seem like a lot but it is let me it is it's not like they have a lot of fluff in here all these words are important <laughs> so it's kind of hard to pick and choose what i want to write down and remember for later <laughs> wow so tomorrow that's the goal to, cause I mean, I feel like I have a dent in my finger right here from holding the pencil. <laughs> and this darn thing wants me to verify every 20 minutes that I'm me. Yes, I'm, yes. Gosh, it's been a long day. I'm tired of reading notes, I'm tired of taking notes, I'm tired of reading this. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. My break will include watching Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Not all of it, I'm just, a, just a little bit. Uh, pizza and, of course, milk. It is now 10 o'clock and I, I finished all my notes and I took the test again. And I took, I think it was five hours to do these notes. You know what I got on the test? You needed a 70 to pass. I got a 75 on it, not doing any of this. I got a 75. You know how irritating that is? Super irritating. Uh, so I took it again and got a 95. That That's more like it. But with with now having done all the notes, I I didn't have to second guess or anything. I, I just knew them. It wasn't, it was a lot easier, I should say. Even though I still got a 75, which is... But I got a 95 on the next one, so there we go. I'm not getting 100. I'm not, I don't want to take it again. That's only one question, so I'm fine with that. That's gonna end it for today. I'm tired of taking notes and I gotta go to sleep and do it all over again. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.